came across all these Tupperware things, original Tupperware. They want $25 Good morning friends! It is Tuesday and today is our last day here. Actually we're leaving today so I mean yesterday was our last day. Today is our last day. Anyway we are leaving today to go back home. Brian has left already to go to two companies that he needed to go visit with this morning and then once he gets back we are going to be leaving but I wanted to really quickly show you guys, isn't Bridge Street real pretty? This is what Bridge Street looks like. And over there is all the shops and stuff, the stores. I walked you guys through all of that stuff. Down there is the swimming pool and the bar. We walked through there last night. It's just such a really nice place. And over there in the distance, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right at the peak of the top of those tree lines is the Space and Rocket Center. But yeah, very, very cool. Huntsville's such a pretty little place. Very, very pretty. Very, very calming, relaxing. But anyway, I am about ready to go do my hair and my makeup. I have my little station set up right here at the table. But before I do that, I just want to go ahead and show you guys the room. Pay no attention to the fact that the room is a mess. Um, and that is because we have been in it all week. Well, oh my God, all week? No, we have been in it since Sunday. And obviously things get tossed and turned and you know messed up or whatever but I always like to clean up the room before we leave I like to throw all of the towels inside the tub and I like to just make sure that everything is left nice and clean I don't want the people here to think that oh my god these people who stayed here are complete scuds so um, basically what I do is just kind of go around and straighten things up make sure that the counter is wiped off make sure that all the towels are put in the the tub and uh, make sure that um, I have all of my things, that nothing's hung behind the doors, nothing's still hung in the shower, whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and take you guys through what the room looks like really quick. And then I've got to get myself together. Okay, so first things first, we are at the door. And then when you walk into the door, this is the view of the room. It's like any hotel room, of course. But over here to the right is the bathroom where I was just at. And this is, I love the feature of this door. It's like one of those frosted glass doors in the shower. I love that. I thought that was such a neat little feature. Um, and then over here is the shower and it is a pretty large shower. And then it has the square overhead shower head, which I absolutely love. So it's a very, very good size shower. Um, of course you have your toilet and you have your sink and everything. So again, very, very nice. And then of course this is the tub. And then of course I've already threw all the towels inside of the tub. And as you walk out, as you can see, I already have all of our stuff sitting there ready to go. They have a big, huge mirror, which, you know, what girl doesn't love a nice mirror? So this is my outfit for today too, by the way. I'm just wearing a black little t-shirt to drive home and my khaki shorts. And then I'm going to put my black sandals on. Very, 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 very simple and easy and comfy. So anyway, this big, huge, large mirror. Absolutely love the mirror. I need one of those in my life at home. Then up in here is a closet and it's got a safe down there, ironing board, iron hangers, nice, nice size closet. Then of course you have the two beds and then as you can see I have all the stuff, um, my stuff on this bed because I'm trying to put everything together and pack it. My computer, my computer bag, my overnight bag, my purse, you know, all that stuff. Then over here is the TV and entertainment center. You've got a refrigerator and some drawers. However, the refrigerator, it is not for use unless you want to pay. It says, Dear guests, this beverage center is designed for use as a mini bar. If you would like to have it stocked, please press zero for service express. This is not a refrigerator and it will not keep items cold. If you want to rent a refrigerator, please press zero for service express. We did not want to rent a refrigerator because that is absolutely ridiculous. I think that every hotel room should come with a refrigerator. People like to have drinks with them. People carry medications with them. They need to have stuff to keep in the refrigerator and keep it cold. So I'm like, let's keep a refrigerator in every single hotel room. Come on people, it's not that hard. But anyway, nonetheless, that was a little frustrating, but I think that's kind of what you get with those upper class 
um, resorts because people might go, oh, well, I can afford to rent that. It's not a matter of being able to afford to rent it. It's just being able to have that convenience of having it there and not having to worry about, say, if you have medication that you need to put in the refrigerator or you want to have drinks in the refrigerator. Renting one is just stupid. So I know that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. But nonetheless, this is the entertainment center. TV, you know, has um, ice bucket coffee area and then a little desk area for you to work or do whatever i usually set up my makeup stuff here as you guys can see i have my makeup set up here i'm going to do my hair here in just a few minutes um and then obviously you have a chair a chair over here in the corner and a little table which i think is a little on the like odd spot i know i think that table was probably over there or the chair was over here or something but oh excuse me nonetheless it's just a little odd position and then you have a nice view of bridge street and the city of huntsville itself so very very pretty absolutely loved it here um and this is a view from um this way so this is what the room looks like at the Westin. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my makeup on, get my hair done. That way um, I can have everything packed up and ready to go by the door um, for when Brian gets back. He, um, he, I don't know, I don't know what time we're leaving yet, so we'll have to figure that out. But I wanted to show you guys something else too that was funny about this hotel. They give you this little tiny roll-on, and it's a. Um, sleep well lavender balm and it just kind of like tells you about it you know um wind down naturally with our sleep well aromatherapy balm infused with essential oils and lavender and chamomile to ease tension and soothe the senses roll onto temples or wrists before bedtime to foster sleep sound to foster sound sleep so anyway i uh so the other night I put some on my temples and I put some on my wrists and I put some on Brian's. Um, I did not sleep at all the other night, like the first night we were here. I was like tossing, turning, I was uncomfortable. I felt like I was itching, no bed bugs, nothing to worry about, but I always feel like I was itching. Um, but nonetheless, um, I put some of this on and it's like, oh, I didn't sleep sound at all. So I was like, what the crap? But anyway, I just thought, oh, what a cool little thing but i'm gonna bring it. it does smell nice um the roll on like was stuck so it like didn't work very well so i had to like really work on the roller ball for it to start working well but um i'm gonna take it with me i'm gonna keep it with me in my uh in my travel bag that way we have it just in case we ever need to use it um any place else or whatever but it's also nice i don't know like roll it on the pillows to make the pillow smell nice but anyway all right so i'm gonna get ready and i will check back in with you guys a little bit later bye so I'm in the elevator, which I'm probably gonna hit the floor in just a second, the first floor. Anyway, um, since Brian's out doing his business stuff, I thought I'd just go ahead and walk around Bridge Street for a little bit and go into a few stores since it's 10 o'clock. Oh, I gotta go this way. Yes, I can go this way. Since it's 10 o'clock and all of the stores will be open now, so that's kind of what I thought I would do is go out here and do a little bit of shopping while I wait for him. He is a preferred, um, a preferred guest here so our checkout time isn't until 12 o'clock so we still have two hours but if it starts to get around that close to 12 o'clock time i will definitely um start carrying all of our stuff um downstairs and um having it ready for when he does pull up we can just put everything in the car wow it's very windy today but it's clear skies there's a few clouds lingering up above but it's just such a pretty little place to walk around so i thought i would go ahead and just walk while my shorts creep up in my crotch that's so annoying but anyway i kind of wanted to go down here to this one store that we were in the other day i saw some candles that i kind of wanted to pick up i just wanted to see what they were i liked them so i thought maybe we would i would get a couple of those candles um and see their sale may have been off it must have been may have been only like a weekend thing but anyway i just thought i'd take a stroll and wait for brian to text and say that he's ready i love this too a little waterfall so pretty yeah it's really blowing however it's starting to look kind of cloudy over that way but beautiful over this way oh. And all the stores and stuff open up about 10 o'clock here, so I think I still have a couple of minutes left. Yeah, it's 
But quite honestly, I just wanted to fall out. I was like freezing in that room. I can't remember, maybe it was in the loft that I wanted to go in that had that stuff. No, it wasn't, I don't remember. But, oh, it's down here at this place. This place that had this really cool outdoor decorative stuff. She's cleaning. How nice, oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys too, like, um, last night we saw like a dog going into the store and I guess if you see the paw print on the bottom of a door, that means that it is pet friendly and you can bring your dog in there. So I thought, hmm, that's kind of interesting. I'm not sure if I, how I feel about that really, because if a dog like hikes up his leg and takes a leak on your little clothes, so much for letting dogs in there, right? That's where I wanted to go was Anthropology. That is the store that had um, some candles that I wanted to pick up. I love that store. I love everything about that store. It is so pretty. Like all of their plates and stuff. I love all that. Really, really cool. I like their little dishes and everything in there. What a cool place. Love that store. So all of this stuff is on sale. They have their prices like right here. Um, I am in like heaven here because I love me some dishes. These are so cool looking. But I really don't, are these the stackables? They are, but they're glass. I don't want glass stackables. How pretty. Ooh, is it still super windy? But um, anyway, so I went into H&M and Anthropology, and I picked up two uh, more of those shirts at H&M. Um, the ones that I wore yesterday, that like light pink rose color one. I picked up a navy blue one and a like blue one. Um, real pretty color. And then at Anthropology, I picked up a mug for my neighbor for her birthday. And then I picked up, what did I get for myself? Oh, that candle. And then I picked up some perfume. Oh my God. When I picked this perfume up, I was like, oh my God, had to have it. So yeah, I bought the perfume. So I have a nice little haul <laughs> to share with you guys, maybe a little bit later. So I think I'm gonna head back up to my room now. Brian hopefully will be texting me soon and letting me know that it's time to go. Cause um, if not, then I'm gonna be carrying my stuff down to the lobby here very soon. So anyway, maybe I'll walk that way and go see the carousel. Cause they have a carousel here. I'll go this way. I didn't get to see the carousel since I've been here. It's so funny, Brian and I were saying that we uh, when we lived here, I don't know, maybe we came here once or twice, maybe three times. Um, but now we're like, this is the most we've spent here. And we don't even live here. But there's the hotel where we're staying right there. So all of this stuff is just like really convenient and um, walking within obviously walking distance from your hotel. So if you guys stay here, you guys obviously can do some shopping and enjoy that. But anywho, very nice. I love this entrance. I didn't even see this entrance. Like this is where we were standing last night because this is like the pool area and the bar. And then right over here in that like a white area is where we were standing and I was looking at all those cattails, which he called pussy willows, which I think is wrong. But oh, and then there's the carousel down there. Very nice, nice little carousel. Obviously it's not running right now or open. And then you have the water right here. And then of course that view right there because it's really pretty. And then, oh, more of a little waterfall and, and this little bridge area here. How lovely. Very, very nice. And you got like a little bridge here to walk over. And they used to have like gondolas here where you could like get in a gondola and the guys would take you around because this water goes clear way down there um, but yeah they had gondolas here and they would take people for rides in the gondolas but obviously the gondolas are no longer here and I just spotted a turtle look at this little turtle down here on this rock um, he is a real turtle I'm assuming yep he's real he just his head just moved but he looks so dry look at him 
Oh, he just went in the water. He was a scared little turtle. There he goes. Obviously he was a little frightened by me. I don't see any other ones though. He's waiting for some food. They need to clean this up though. I think that could be cleaned up a little bit better. How pretty. And then this is the front of the hotel. Hi. This little area here, how nice. Hey. Nice little area. I think that their little water fountains should be go up a little higher, but they don't. Well, that's interesting. So that guy that was right back there, what did he oh, there he is. He's on the bridge now where I was at. He's actually coming over here to clean up all that trash that was in the water. I'm like, well, good, because it needed to be cleaned up. It was a little, you know, it was a little yucky, and it needed to be cleaned up for sure. It's a little eyesore, but what a cool little place. Bridge Street's always nice. outside for pets so I'm assuming this is a pet friendly no nope, this one doesn't have a pet friendly place our paw on it say it's pet friendly but um yeah, outside. and there's another one sitting down here in front of the store too again very very cool I guess a lot of people want to take their pets around here and walk which makes sense see another bowl Okay, so here are the two shirts that I picked up at H&M. This one is what that like seafoam blue color, seafoam green, um, and then a navy blue one, and they were both $9.99 each. So I thought that was a nice little deal on those, and I love the one that I wore yesterday, the like rose pink one or rose gold one. Um, so anyway, I just thought they were real pretty, and I like the lace at the top too. So those are the two shirts that I picked up at H&M. And then the candle that I picked up at Anthropology was this candle, which was $12. And I don't think it has like a scent on it or anything, but it's just uh, an Anthropology fragrance candle. Why well, can't see what it says? Um, bougie? Maybe it's called Bougie. Um, but anyway, it just smells super, super nice, and I just like love the color of the little container. So um, anyway, so I picked that up, and then this is the perfume that I got. Oh my God, this stuff is, this is like the best smelling perfume I have ever, ever bought. Ever, ever, ever. And I love that it comes in like this, like it looks like a book. How cute is that? But this perfume, oh my goodness, ladies. It is the best perfume, and it was $48. So, love it. So, there is an active shooter right now at the Arsenal here, which is, um, you know, it's military, um, which is just right on the other side of this little complex area, Bridge Street, where we are staying. Um, if you go straight um, into this exit, this is the one exit for this, and the other exit is for the Arsenal itself. So, I mean, it's just like right there. Um, and that the, in the uh, Arsenal is on lockdown right now. Um, I don't think Brian had to go in the arsenal. I hope he wasn't on the arsenal today. I don't think he was. I'm hoping not. But nonetheless, there is an active shooter right now at the arsenal um, here in Huntsville. And... Oh my goodness. How crazy is that? But that's a military base too, so that's kind of scary. How did this person get on? Because they checked. When you go in through their gate, they check everybody and everything before you actually get on that base. Like they take your car and open it up and look at everything. So I don't know how this person would have gotten on there if they work there and then this just happened when they got there. So, um, wow, yeah. So now I need to text Brian and see like where he's at and how if everything's okay. Yikes, kind of scary. Um, and then the mug that I picked up for my neighbor, it's just a mug with a French bulldog on it because she has Frenchies. So anyway, yeah, cute. And I, it's already in a box and wrapped up, so I didn't want to open it. But nonetheless, cute, cute little mug. So I can't wait to give that to her. So um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully we'll be heading home soon. I'm ready to go, ready to go. I'm gonna have to bring our stuff down here shortly if uh, he doesn't hurry. 
Okay, so that active shooter situation is still pretty active. Obviously, they've locked everything down. My hotel itself is not on lockdown, um, but I do want to kind of give you guys like a little update where um, I'm at compared to the arsenal. This building right here, um, if you look, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look, that tree line right there, this, oh, where am I at? See this tree line right here? On the other side of that tree line is the arsenal. This road right there where you see all the cars, that road, if you go straight, will take you straight to the base. That's exactly where we're at compared to the active shooter situation. But anyway, but anyway, Brian just called and he is on his way here. So I just had concierge come pick up our stuff and I'm meeting um, him downstairs and we're just gonna pack the car up and leave and head home. I am starving. So we'll probably get some food on our way home. But oh my God, I'm so hungry. Um, and I have to eat something and my crackers are in the car. So um, anyway, I'm headed down. Goodbye Huntsville, goodbye Huntsville room. It has been fun. I'm just gonna do another quick sweep, another check. Brian took the laundry bag down. All this stuff is good to go. I have everything there, nothing hung up. Bathroom, check, clear. Let's go. Looks like there's a vehicle so, trying to go straight. Yeah, he's, he's not gonna be able to go straight because this is the arsenal, this is what I was just saying. So this is the road and the exit that we have to take. But if you go straight, that's the arsenal where they have it where they have it all. Um, it's all backed up. Yeah. Oh, they got the news here. Here's the oh, news. yeah. Yeah, so there it all is. Yeah, they've already got the cones out. Mm -hmm. In a quarter of a mile. Exit to oh, I-565. Yep, there's WAF 48 News. Mm -hmm. Here are the cops. This guy's trying to go to work. Well, you can't. Every, th every single- Where are we sitting? People go around? I know, go around them. Uh, yep, all that is blocked down there. Look at them. Yep. It's all shut down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of that. Crazy. Yeah, you texted me that I was like, what? Yeah, well that's why I texted you because I'm like, there goes another cop right there. Yep, and see there's more blockage right there to the arsenal. See, where's he going then? He's there's like, other gates here. Well. Yo, I know. There's a lot of gates to go to the There's the Space and Rocket Center again. headed into one of our favorite restaurants <laughs> we used to eat at when we were here. We used to eat here all the time. It's just like a, kind of like a mom and pop's joint, but it's called O'Brien's Steakhouse. And we love this place. Thanks, babe. Such a gentleman you are. Mm. Hi. Yes. Oh, a booth, please. Oh, they did. Thank you. Lots of fishies. Oh, wow, it sure is. They want food. Look at them. Oh, yeah. Look at I have crackers in there. Oh, They're right there. They're on your side. But they are my good crackers. Look at that big one. Mm -hmm. Look at those chicken. <laughs> yeah, they were running that way before it even hit. They're hungry fish. Yeah, one's got a big one. Look at him. He's just oh, yeah. Oh, he lost it. <laughs> Look at that one taking off of that. Where they're. <laughs> he still has it. Look at him. Yep, I see him. Look at them. They're all going for it. So look at it. Go, boy. Go. You're lose it. Oh. He's on his own now. Oh, they're coming run, for him. They're going, run, fishy. Run. Oh, no. He's still zigging and zagging. <laughs> look at him. They come. Run, dude. Hide. 
Now he's up. Oh, there comes one. Up. Oh, go, go, go. Look at mine. <laughs> yep, that one. He's still got one. Uh oh. Get that one bug off follower. me. Get this bug off me. Where'd that big one go? Did you lock the door? No. Okay. So where are we at? We are at Grumpy's Antiques, Collectibles, and Classic Cars. We just got into Georgia, and Brian has been wanting to stop here forever. And so, that's what we are doing. But we had to enjoy feeding the little fishies first. No, that's just a little stream. That's nice clear water. Yeah. That's an old car right there. Yeah, this place has got an upstairs, downstairs, mm -hmm. it's a cool place. Oh boy, your dad would be in junkyard heaven. Antique heaven, yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love it. I want yeah. House yeah, it's very pretty. Mm-hmm. It's bad enough, I guess there's a snake over here. Oh. Is he little? Oh, well, let's let's throw him outside. You. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Not a fan, that's for sure. The hell, how did the heck did he get in here? Oh, I like the Coca Cola crate. I love that. Look at that. Yeah. I love that. No. Oh, yeah. Well, this one's only 125. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Stop. Quit it. I love these. Uh huh. Seventy nine bucks. Oh, I don't know. Mm hmm. Um, this animal has. Oh, that's a tag sticking out of his mouth. Yeah. Thought he was drooling. What, these? Yeah, I don't. I'm not a fan. Yeah, alright, where are you, sneaky snake? No. Oh, I guess. Oh, there's this thing. 19 bucks for that. Mm -mm -mm. How much? 19. For the whole thing? No, for just the. Um, oh, the old locker. Yeah, it's cute. Um, I like. Yeah, no, I like this. See, that's nice. So I like this. <laughs> you can't make it. Um, interesting. Mm hmm There's a whole cabinet downstairs full of Disney stuff. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah. Nice, thanks. Oh, is that what that's for too then? Interesting. Yeah, they do. Boy, your dad would be in here. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's a whole jar full of corks. I, I like need that. I think a projector. Mm-hmm. Holy moly, how much you want for that? 
I don't know. With the light bulb and everything, that's neat. That's right here. Are you kidding me? Uh, One thirty-five oh, okay. movie okay. reel. Mm -hmm. That's what I was looking at. These lights. Look how cool those lights are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because how much they want for that? My dad's got a whole thing of that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, One forty-four. One hundred and forty four bucks. Mm -hmm. mm hmm. My dad has the whole thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, look at that for Trey. Mm -hmm. I like all the mason jars and the balls over there. Uh, well, I like that it's got uh no. No, I like it. Mm, no. Because yeah, I want to be a pirate. <laughs> you want to be a pirate. Seriously, Bri, why? Mm. What? That drum. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's all covered up. There's got to be a reason. No. I just don't like snakes, and he's gone. He's not underneath there no more. Brian's not trying to move everything, so he comes out. Oh, no, you're fine. There's like the Indian guy that they have at Disney. Holy crap! What? Christmas stuff. It's hotter than hell in here. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, your dad would be in heaven. I'm in heaven because of these. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. I I want that. Right there. Well, this is a lot of stuff. What? Wow. Oh, very cool. I love the supermarket sign. I had to hang that in the kitchen. Yeah, I like the jukebox. That's cool. The refrigerator. Yep. Here's my doors I need. $85 for the barn doors. What? <sighs> I like that. Is that for golf balls? It is. Yeah. Man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, there's good stuff up here. Look at Mr. Bear, he's a little rough. Yeah, he's a little scary. Wow. The old RC. Brian, would you please? Look at that hat. 12 bucks for that hat. Wow. School memories. Oh, there's people's pictures in here. Oh, well, that's neat. Eddie Church. That's cool. Hmm. What? Oh. Old Dr. Pepper signs. The old Coke sign. What? I love these. The Quaker State motor oil sign. That's the fan I need for the house. Yeah, this uh, thing is cool. 1500 Uh-oh, is that a scary baby buggy? Oh, yeah, it's a scary baby buggy. Oh, that one's even scarier. Oh, yeah, yuck. 
Ooh, and these things are even scarier. <laughs> Look at that old Mickey Mouse, though. Mm -hmm. It's an old Mickey Mouse. Old mugs. Wow. Mm hmm. She's a little scary. What? Oh, is it? A Mac Coke cooler. Fifty bucks. Well, then it's not going anywhere. It's locked. Mm -hmm. Oh, this place is huge. Oh, look at the old three-wheeler. Oh That's yeah, that is. I like this is right. Uh oh, I found something. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm gonna have to get a ride. Can you get on it? This is my jeans. Oh. Okay. Sure. Oh wow. Hmm. Do not touch the cars, it says. Do not touch the cars. What do, what do people, what would people want with these? The engines. I don't get it. Oh boy. I don't know, but it's cute. I've never seen that before. No, and how does how do you steer it? There's that's a. It. That's what I just said. Oh. I've never seen that before in a Doom buggy. No, that's a little odd. Wow. Huh. Straight six. I don't know what that Trip means. Motor. Oh. Oh. Wow, there's no boat. This is a huge place. Remember how Kmart had those rides? Yeah, that's cool though. Wow. Look at that. 25 cents to ride it and they want $1,000 for it. Wow. That's cool. I love that thing. Yeah. I love it. Okay, we just came across all these Tupperware things. Original Tupperware. They want $25 for these things. And then um, these shorter ones too. We had the short ones. 25 bucks. Oh my goodness. Tupperware was the bomb back in the day though. We had those too, all those cups. Oh yeah. Tupperware was it. I love Tupperware. All that Tupperware. They even have the trays. I love that. And little. Ooh, I need that. Yeah, I need that. Look at all the land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they have a ton of postcards in here. Postcards. Oh, those are Colorado. Oh, Postcards. neat. There's maps. See, it's just different. Look at that. Look yeah. at all the maps. Yeah. Trinkets. I know. Look at the postcards. And silverware and. Oh, it's a Asian box. And Japanese. Oh, look at all those lanterns. Like, I like this one. $14.50 for that one. I love it. love all this stuff. They are, their price and their lanterns are so good here. Oh yeah. Yeah, those are all your favorites. Man, Harriet had about that much. 
10% off all Christmas over $20. Mm -hmm. Santa and all the Hallmark keepsakes. Is a Christmas Buddha? Yes. <laughs> wow. Look at all the keepsakes. These are like ones that you can never find anymore. How cool is that? Yeah. Yep, that's what that sign says. That's what it says. Look at that dragon. Yeah, those stormtroopers and I'm Batman. Sesame Street. And Ronald McDonald. There's all the Disney stuff. <laughs> and we're home. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while we were in Huntsville. I hope that you guys had a great time. It is 8 o'clock on Tuesday night and I have the rest of the week to look forward to. My couch is coming. I have to edit these videos and get these put up. Fourth of July party on Saturday. So lots of stuff coming up. I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next time on Angie Wonderland. Bye.